when there's a failed troll on YouTube, who are you going to call? Trollbusters. So this video is for Pitmaster DX's top 10 worst video uh, video game consoles of all time. Careful, everyone. This is a big shit biscuit. Let's dig into it. The ponies is Pitmaster DX with the top 10 worst consoles of all time. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to be skipping all the fillers in this video. Now, number 10 is the Genesis add-ons. Add-ons, not consoles. Moving on. Number 9 is the 3DO. Yeah, everyone knows that sucks, but here's why. It, but first off, it cost $700. dollars you are going to have to look at the times. At the time, that was a pretty high piece of tech, but we all know it sucked. The PS Triple is everyone... Chad Warren's little brother. New, like, most expensive console and shit, but it can't match that. And at least the PS2 was ballin', but video, it costs $700, and it's not ballin' at all. I mean, there, it had no games! It had no games! Well, yeah. Number 8, Atari Jaguar, with its big-ass square controller that I don't even know how you're supposed to hold that shit. You know you fail when... I mean, why couldn't you have just made a normal controller, Atari? Why'd it have to be a big freaking brick? With a joypad, three buttons, and then your stupid fucking numeric keypad, which I don't know why you put in there. Why the hell you put in a numeric keypad? Like, what games really could use that? So, yeah. And, even worse, it had no good games to speak of. Really, it had no good games. The list is somewhat reasonable. I don't see why people are. It's the Sega Dreamcast. The Sega Dreamcast. What? What the hell is it doing on this list? That's retarded. Yeah, it's second Sega console on the list, and um, it just sucked. Like this video. I mean, it tried to be for before the PS2 came out. It was okay, I guess. But then PS Double came out. I never heard the PS Double. And. It, and then everyone realized that it was a piece of shit. Um, no. Do you even know what happened with the Dreamcast? If you don't remember, then I'll explain it to you. The Dreamcast went down the drain because of the PS2 having a DVD player. The system wasn't bad at all. Number 6, the Atari 2600. Pippin Master DX is a new dirt. I know, you're all like, what the hell is he talking about? Actually, yeah, what the hell are you talking about? The Atari 2600 was the first system, one, well, one of them anyway, that standardized home consoles with the interchangeable cartridges. I know the Odyssey was the first one, but the 2600 streamlined this entire process. Yeah, I know it's one of the first consoles ever made, but it's also one of the worst consoles ever made. Really? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, just pop in one of those Atari games, play them, and you see... That they ain't worth shit! Hey, you remember a time when video games were about imagination and there's no loading, you just plug it in and then it's on? Me neither. I mean, they just have horrible graphics! Who gives a shit about graphics? The guy who created Minecraft is making a lot of money. I'm skipping the rest of this because it's all retarded bullshit that I don't want to bore you with. Number five was the Philips CDI with... Agreed. Moving on. Number four is the Virtual Boy. Everyone knows lots of. Agreed, but you do mention that the goggle mechanism was done and why it was red and black. I know why it's red and black, because it was a prototype. It was not a complete system. Moving on. Number three, worst console, is the Nintendo 64. Are you friggin' serious? The Nintendo 64? Why the hell is it on this list? That's an amazing system. Hell, it has the best video game of all time on it. What are you doing? Yeah, it was so many bad games on that console. Name five. It had to show up on this list. You'd have to dig through, like, a pile the size of a crater in order to find one decent game. small crater with a shitload of good games. But even when you found one decent game, it would be unplayable because the controller was so freaking weird. Three prongs? What the hell were you on, Nintendo? Seriously. Now, there are three ways of holding the 
N64 controller. This is one way, like that. Uh, another way, which is like for left-handers, but you have to use these buttons anyway, but that's not really a big deal. And this. Honestly, dude, it's not that hard. Number two, the Nintendo DS. Now, I hear you fanboys fan, but it's the truth. This console is If you're talking about the original design, yeah, but everything else, no. I mean, compared to the PSP, I mean, there's no comparison. I mean, PS, P, Pim, DS suck. Dude, PSP has so little good games on it, it's not even funny. The only ones you can list off the top of my head is Kingdom Hearts, Metal Gear, God of War, that's about it. Graphics on the DS suck as compared to the PSP. Again, graphics don't matter, realize this. There's a whole shit though to fucking dumb games and like puzzles and shit, and like, there's no, there's almost no good games. before aren't gonna cut it. The DS has more games, but the PSP has better games. Wrong. Finally, moment you've all been waiting for, number one worst console of all time. Oh, thank Christ, this video is almost over. Seriously, this is this video has a mass amount of stupidity. Bring Nintendo on the last, Wii. the Wii. God damn this list. Oh my God, saying that name just makes me cringe. Why the hell did they choose the Wii? Called the Wii because it's for everybody, hence Wii. As the name. Seriously, the Wii? You gonna come up with something better than that? Why couldn't you just use the original name, Revolution? Revolution was the code name of the system. What was wrong with Revolution? Seriously. And why the hell? Remember that one press release by Nintendo at E3 and shit where they said the graphics would make you say wow? Well, I used to say BS. But of course, this looks like total friggin' garbage now, doesn't it? Like, seriously, man, come on! The graphics are like early PS2 graphics. But hell, they might be like Dreamcast graphics. Okay, seriously, dude? They are nowhere near Dreamcast graphics. Like, seriously, man, come on. And also, they don't friggin' matter. Shit! Like, I guess it's be. You can play GameCube games, but. That's no excuse! Why couldn't you have made graphics better? I guess their only excuse is the fucking motion controls. Yeah, I don't really think I have to say anything here. In most cases, the motion controls suck ass! Majority of Wii games have good motion controls, so what are you talking about? Well, um, the, uh, um, yeah, um, uh, the, like, first person shooters could be, like, way better on Wii because of the motion controller. But, no, it isn't! Play Metroid Prime 3 or the Metroid Prime Trilogy pack for the Wii, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The motion controls for the FPSs are friggin' amazing. It didn't turn out that way. Sure, it had some potential, but it never meant up, it met up to the potential. <laughs> and then, there's a matter of the games. The most important thing out of, on a con for a console. So, you may have a good console, but the console ain't worth shit if you ain't got games. And the Wii ain't got games. So in conclusion, at least try some of the games before you even try to do some judgment on the console being bad or not. Don't make stupid excuses like saying the controller's bad, therefore the console sucks. I just busted the troll. See you later.